a four sixty second timeout. Seven, six, five, four, three, two.
This is Brad Mills for the Salem Card Show in Salem, Indiana, inviting you out to our next show on May the 6th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Washington County Fairgrounds in Salem, Indiana. We will have over 50 tables of sports cards, non-sports cards, including Pokemon, sports memorabilia, sports card collecting supplies, modern and vintage cards. This is a great place to buy, sell, or trade your cards. Admission is free. Families are always welcome. Please follow us on all social media at Salem Card Show. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877 227 9421. That's 877 227 9421. Or just visit our website. We all make choices. When it comes to alcohol, kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. You have fun. Hey, Em, have a seat for a second. Remind me about that party again. Alex is just and talking. adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. They want guidance and honest answers to their questions. And it makes a difference when the message is consistent and part of everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Michael Long with American Family Insurance offers auto, home, business, farm, and life insurance, which includes motorcycles, boats, ATVs, UTVs, classic and antique autos, renters, manufactured homes, rentals, along with event coverage such as weddings, golf hole-in-ones, conferences, and much, much more. He's licensed in Indiana, Ohio, and Florida. For more information, look him up on Facebook to see insurance tips and to sign up for his agency giveaways. Michael Long, American Family Insurance, all your protection under one roof. I like the power deck. You lift it up, clean your deck out, then wash it out. And you know, I can change those blades in approximately five minutes. In our terrain, we have to have a mower that can back up quick, turn quick. Nothing's ever stopped that mower. When it comes to vaping, the truth can get clouded. So let's make it clear. Vaping is not safe for kids, teens, or young adults. It's just not. Because vaping can put microscopic particles into your lungs. And dangerous things like metals and volatile organic compounds into your body. And nicotine, the same highly addictive substance found in regular cigarettes. Nicotine can harm a person's brain development through their mid-20s. Affecting learning, memory, attention, and impulse control and priming the brain for other addictions. Vaping products also come in kid-friendly flavors that can make them appealing to youth. And many kids also use other drugs, like marijuana, in vaping devices. With appealing flavors, high nicotine levels, and lots of promotion on social media. Many kids think vaping is harmless, but it's not. So talk to your kids about the risks of vaping, because when you talk, they hear you. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. I'm David Calhoun, Grass Clippings LLC. During the summer, I'm on this thing 8, 10 hours a day. I know the feel of it. Grasshopper means quality. They don't fall apart. I've looked at all of them in the industry. I don't think nothing can stand up to them. Lynx Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season.
Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Right, brothers. We're more than tractors. Stop in and take a look around. You'll be surprised. Right here on Highway 60 in Borden.
four, three, two. All right, welcome. We're here live for tonight's IHSAA Boys Basketball sectional number 61 here in Class 1A here on a Tuesday night, the last uh, day of February. So about ready to head into March, and that always means sectional basketball time, and we're ready here for it this evening as our first game here tonight features the West Washington Senators here on their home floor taking on the Borden Braves, a rematch from earlier in the season when we saw these two teams play an overtime game here at West Washington with the, uh, the Braves coming out on top, a two-point victory in that one for Borden. So uh, the Senators looking for a little redemption here tonight, and it would be a, a huge win for them here if they could get this first uh, opening round game uh, win over the probably what would be on paper the sectional favorite here in the Borden Braves. So joining me once again here tonight, this is Mark Bubba Abbott and alongside of me, the Professor Craig Akers, as we bring you all the action here on West Washington uh, Senator Sports Channel, the uh, IHSAA network also on uh, board here this evening uh, as we bring it to you on West Washington live stream and also on WWSR, our uh, West Washington School Radio. So we appreciate you tuning in. We'll get to all our sponsors a little later. We want to thank all those sponsors that jumped on board with us here for this sectional as we'll do the entire sectional. Two games here tonight on Tuesday night to open up. Our second game features Rock Creek taking on Christian Academy. And then on Friday, our bye rounds, our semifinal round, the two games uh, going on there on Friday night as well as the winner of this game uh, we'll play uh, South Central and then the uh, second round game, uh, the winner of game number two between Rock Creek and Christian Academy will take on Lanesville. So, uh, Craig, just a, an exciting section. Yeah, I mean, I think you've hit the nail right on the head. You know, Borden probably the, the paper favorite here, um, you know, coming into sectional 61 with their 16 wins on the season, only seven losses. They did beat this West, the same West Washington team um, on February 7th. It was an overtime game that Borden was able to win by two. Um, they played that game without Derek Fuller Tucker. Probably going to see him on the court tonight. Um, you know, so that changes things a little bit. But still, it's a it's a game that is winnable for the Senators, and it, it's also one of those that I'm sure Borden didn't want to draw the Senators first round. I'm sure that's not probably their dream draw. Well, that's not a great draw because for one thing, the Senators are playing here on their home court. Uh, you know, and the home court advantage is huge in these sectionals. Kids are, you know, they're used to this gym. They know how these rims are as far as shooting on them. They, they know the, the scope of the uh, atmosphere here at West Washington. And, but Borden, you know, coming in, like you said, definitely the favorite on paper, 16-7 uh, and seven, uh, on the season. And, uh, you know, they're just a team that's very well coached. And, you know, with Kasem Nash, uh, Coach Doc Nash's son on the floor, you just never know what he's going to be able to do. Right. We saw that back in the holiday tournament here uh, with the uh, Washington County tournament that Borden also plays in, uh, and we've seen him go off for a big game. Yeah, I think the, it was uh, 43. 43, and he had – <laughs> he, he later set the 1,000-point uh, uh, scoring. Right. Uh, so, so we've seen that out of two kids on the floor tonight. Lane Hofler for the Senators also hit his 1,000th point uh, back here at home uh, a, a week, a week ago, ago today. today. So, you know, both of these two guys capable of filling up the basket. As we mentioned, I thought the Senators played really well defensively. That's been their forte throughout the uh, season. They've done a pretty good job limiting other teams, even teams that were putting up more points uh, typically on, on each and every night. But the Senators at time have struggled with offense. So we're going to have to get some production from several kids here tonight, uh, you know, for the Senators to come out victorious in this. You're, you're exactly right. You know, the Senators the Senators have to come out, and they're going to have to put up points. If they're if they're trying to play games in the 40s, that's not going not gonna to work out, not going to be in their favor. Um, you know, we said that it is, it is a home court advantage for the Senators, but Borden has played three games on this court this year. Yes, they have. So, you know, it, it is a little bit of a home court advantage, but not as much as, as a normal That's year. Yes, you're so, right. So, um, you know, nice thing next year, um, talking with Doc Nash before the game, um, you know, the holiday tournament is at Borden. Sectional right. is at Borden. So the Senators hopefully will get to play, you know, the, their three games at Borden 
um, you know, next year before sectional. But we're not looking ahead to next year. We want to get the win this year. We want to be able to knock off Borden, um, you know, like we said, the, the favorite. Then we're going to have to play a, a tough South Central team um, that, that got a win over the Senators earlier this year. Um, so it's it's one of those, you know, this, it's it's right for the picking if the Senators, you know, come out and are, are able to capitalize on what they've been able to grow throughout the year. I don't think this is the same team that started the year. Um, you know, it, the last couple of games it's looked like Lane Hofler has really picked up the pace and, you know, kind of started to get it going looking like the Lane of last year. Um, you know, last game out at Shoals he had 19. Right. So that's a that's the lane of last year, you know, that the Senators relied on kick two, you know, was able to knock down three-point three point shots, um, you know, and then was big in the middle of the lane. You know, not a not a big statued kid, but he's 6'5". He's going to change shots down there. Yeah, absolutely, and that's a great point. I think as the season's progressed, you know, Lane coming off of that injury last year pretty much – you know, worked through the beginning part of the year, just still a little ginger, you know, on that leg. But yeah. as the season's progressed, he's looked more and more for his shot. He's been frustrated at times. A lot of teams have thrown a lot of junk defenses at him. They double team him a lot. He gets held a lot. But, you know, that's things that you got to fight through. And as a senior, uh, you know, two seniors on this West Washington team in uh, Mason Cox and also Lane Hofler, and then uh, a similar situation for Morton. They've got two seniors in Brody Kennedy, number four, and also in uh, A.J. Agnew, uh, number 24. So both teams with a couple kids uh, on their roster that could play their last game here tonight. So that's something else to play for. And I know Lane, you know, I think he's a competitor. He's going to want to come out here tonight as well as the kids are from Borden and, and try to get this opening round uh, sectional win here. You know, this is one of those games that usually there's a little nerves early on with the sectional. You know, it's always a big crowd in the in the gym. Uh, you know you're playing for your last maybe uh, time to touch the floor if you can't get a win. And, right. You know, I think that brings out the best in players, but it also brings out the nerves. Yeah, oh, yeah. And you'll see that, I think, I early think on. I think the first yeah. – three or four minutes is really going to tell it's crucial. Tell, tell the uh, tale of this game you know if if the senators can get out and play and and play well those first three or four minutes this is going to be a really competitive game if they struggle those first three or four minutes it could it could turn the other way very quickly especially if nash catches fire yeah you know and and you know is able to score 10 12 points in that first four minutes which is the way Kasem is. You know, he can he can get really streaky and really knock down a whole bunch of shots real quick from, you know, just about anywhere in this gym. So, you know, it's it's one of those. Uh, who do you who do you send guarding? Do you send Kenton, you know, to chase him around? Do you take a, a kid like Mason Cox and say, hey, your job tonight is just to chase him and be in his hip pocket all night? Um, you know, if it's, if it's up to me, that's probably what I'm doing. I'm saying, Mason, we're not looking for you to score tonight. Right. We're looking for you to – Everywhere he goes, you go with him. When he goes to the locker room at halftime, just go right on with him. Just just follow him right on into the locker room. Well, so. you know, he's one of those kids. He's going to get his points. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think the key for us and the reason why we were able to stay in that that uh, regular season game with them was because we, we limited everybody else. Yes. And, you know, I think that's a key for us. You know Kaysom's going to get his shots up. Uh, you know there's going to be times when you lose him defensively and he's going to make you pay. But if you can limit everybody else, uh, you know, that puts yourself in pretty good position. Plus, I think the keys here are Eddie Gilstrap Motors' keys to the game here tonight will be how the Senators can to defend. Kasem Nash is one of the definite keys. The other key for the Senators, I think, is we need three or four guys in double scoring, double-digit scoring. We can't just rely on Lane Hofler. We, we've got to have two or three other guys step up and do that. I think for Borden, their keys, to, you know, defensively are very similar. You know, they, they, one, have to limit the opportunities for Lane because, you know, like he said, like you said, he can go off at any point in time. And the other key, I think, for them is to stay out of foul trouble. Oh, yeah. They play they aggressive. Uh, you know, if they can keep their bigs out of foul trouble, keep them on the floor it makes them a lot better basketball team oh you're exactly right i mean there's no doubt no doubt about that it's it's a uh, uh you know very it's a different team when they've got to sub some kids in you know the first time we played them we didn't see Derek fuller tucker we're going to see him tonight yep. that gives them one extra kid um but i still i still don't know that they go as deep 
you know, as the Senators can no, off I don't the bench. Think so I, you know, the Senators typically will play seven deep, um, you know, a lot, but uh, mainly six. But but you'll see them at times, and then you know we've we've had some JV kids that have really come into their own late in the season here. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if we got into some foul trouble down low with with Ian and Titan and Lane that we might not see this Silas back come into the game. Yeah, you know, I, I, I mean, think that's very a very you know. He's a big body. He's kid. a big body kid, and he gives you five fouls on somebody down there. You know, you don't have to have him score. All you got to do is have him play some defense, which is something that Silas can definitely do. Well, yep, we're uh, about a minute away here from the uh, national anthem here uh, in West Washington. Did, did, Bubba, did you see what's going on in front of us? Ah, uh, yes, I see them. They're back. <laughs> They're the back so. from the uh, choir here yes. at West Washington. And and I'm telling you, folks, you're in for a treat here on the national anthem. They sang this back at the last regular season home game, and. Uh, they, they are phenomenal, and I think you'll see a, another great performance out of them here tonight singing our national anthem, and then we'll come back with our starting lineups here on your home for sectional number 61 and the West Washington Senators here on your home for that uh, West Washington live stream and WWSR. So we're going to pause. We're going to take a moment here as PA announcer Claude Combs will get things started here at West Washington as we're just a few minutes away from getting this sectional first round game underway. So stay tuned with us as uh, we'll be back here shortly for those starting lineups in this contest here tonight. So Welcome back here, sectional number 61 here, our first round game tonight featuring the Borden Braves and the West Washington Senators as we're about ready for our starting lineups here. The West Washington Choir, Choir with our national anthem done a fantastic job here once again as you just uh, heard their rendition of the national anthem. So we're ready to get ready to go. The home team tonight on the scoreboard, a little different. Yeah, this, this is going to be backwards. So, And the Senators will be the visitors on their own floor. So ready to get this thing underway. They will uh, announce all the uh, kids on the roster. So number four, Titan Williams for the Senators. Number 10, Grayson McCoy, uh, reserve for the Senators as well. Jackson Wiseman. Number 23, Carson Mullet. Number 54, Silas Back. And number 40, Ryan Shipman, the non-starters tonight for the Senators. And now the starters for West Washington at one guard for the Senators. A 5'10 junior, number three, Jackson Cameron will start. 
at a guard four, Coach Sullivan. Number 20, Lane Hofler. The Senators uh, bell cow, so to speak, is senior at 6'5". At another guard, number 22, Kenton Chase. He's a junior at 5'10", for Coach Sullivan. And number one will start at one forward. He's a senior at six foot and a forward. And the other starter, a 6'4 junior, number 12, Ian Rosenbaum for Coach Clayton Sullivan's West Washington Senators here, the visitors on the scoreboard this evening. And now, the non-starters for the Borden Braves. Number four, Brody Kennedy. Number 35, Garrett Schmidt. Number 33, uh, Isaac Lewis. Number 30, uh, 43 on my roster, Colston Compton. Number 34, Will Bannett. And number three, Caleb Fuller, Derek Fuller Tucker, yes. We didn't see him in that game. Now for the starters for Borden, as they're announced here. At one guard, a six foot senior for the Braves here. Uh, he will start number 21, Casey Nash. He's a junior. Number 11, Alex Schuler. Also a junior, a sophomore at another guard, number 31, Missy. That's Judy, Judd Missy. A.J. Agnew also will start. And a 6'1 sophomore, number 32, Landon Keith, who I thought had a really good game against us before. We're going to yeah. have to watch him on the floor. Yep, we talked about Casey Nash. Um, I think they go as Agnew goes. If Agnew plays good defense on uh, the Senators, it's going to be a tough night for the Senators to get through. The hope yeah. is that Agnew doesn't have a good game and that Kaysom Nash doesn't have a good game. Right, yeah, that, that's what you try to slow down here. Looks like uh, Lane Hofler will jump it up here as he will jump center there against uh, Missy, number uh, 31 for the Braves here in this contest this evening. So we're ready to get this sectional underway as we'll have the tip here and get things going here live from West Washington. Hofler and Missy, the ball goes in the air. Hofler tips it, Cameron able to pull it away so the Senators will get the first possession. They'll go to Kenton Chase, he'll bring it across the timeline. Looks to the far side, now finds Ian Rosenbaum cutting down low, throws one up, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down there for the Braves as they pull it out of there and back the other way, Missy with it. Gets it off the Nash free throw line. He pulls up, shoots it from deep, misses badly, and Hofler with the rebound. Good job there by Mason Cox on him. Senators up quickly. Cameron off to Chase, far side to Hofler. Lane will pull it down. Looks at the three, now drives. Now lost the ball for a second. He'll get it off to Mason Cox, off to Kenton Chase here on the near wing. Kenton will drive around. Goes inside the lane, looks back door, nothing there. Gets it out to Cameron, back to Chase. Kenton with it, off to Mason Cox. He looks low, back over to Chase. He'll dribble far side, hands it off to Cameron. Uh, he'll pull up, shot partially blocked, and that'll go out of bounds to the Braves, they'll say there. I thought that was yeah, partially Cameron's, blocked. Cameron's looking for either getting hit on the wrist or it being blocked. Didn't get a call from Craig Starr over on the far side. So. Yeah, so Agnew will inbound. They'll bring it in to Missy. He'll hand it off now to Nash as Kaysen will bring it up for the Braves. No score here early. It's just underway here at West Washington. They'll hand it off far side as it comes off there to Schuler. Schuler now back to Agnew, now to Nash. He'll pull up, three-pointer in the air. Can't get it to go. Rebound, however, by Agnew as he battles on the baseline. Throws it back out now. Picked up, Schmidt in the middle. He'll shoot it. Got it to go there. Schuler actually got that bucket. So two to nothing here, Braves. Senators just couldn't track down that yeah, ball. Yeah, couldn't get a rebound. Far side, Kenton Chase will go to Hofler. Lane with it, looking inside, back out to Kenton. Now it'll come over to Cameron. He'll get it off to Cox. Mason with it. He'll hold there. Now gets it back out to Kenton. Kenton, top of the circle. He'll set things up, go far side to Cameron. He gets it off to Cox. He'll get it back to Lane. Lane will drive, free throw line, pulls up, shoots it. Can't get that one to go. Nice rebound by Cox as he went up high for it. Now uh, tipped away, and Rosenbaum comes down with it. Kenton Chase with it, off to Cameron. He's got a three look, and he got it. Nice there shot there by Jackson Cameron. So Jackson finds the, uh, the the ball there. Nice job by the Senators getting it off to him. Three to two here, Nash with it. 
Gets it back off there as it comes over here to 31. That's Missy. He'll control it. Now gets it off there to Schuler. Schuler far side. Hands it off to Nash. Nash back over to Missy. Now looking down low. They'll take it on the drive. Pull it back out here. Missy with it. Gets it out to Agnew. Top of the circle. He'll hand it off far side as it goes to Schuler. Schuler back it out. Now back over to Missy. Missy around the screen from Nash. Picks it up. Now gets it back to Nash. Way out high, he'll drive. Kicks it in the corner there, number 11 with it. That's Schuler. he drives in the baseline. Can't get the shot to go. And a battle for the board, and Lane Hofler comes out there with it. Gets it off to Kenton Chase. Kenton back up the floor quickly. He'll drive, dishes to Mason Cox, and an easy bucket there. So a nice give and go there by. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's just a plus if Mason's oh, going to score yeah. for you, playing defense on Nash. Deep three out of the corner there, shot up, rebound by Nash inside. He goes up with it, and the first foul of the night going to be called there as 32. Keith went back up with it. They'll call that one on Mason Cox, his first foul, the team's first here. And we'll have free throws here for Nash as he'll go to the line. I didn't think he was shooting the ball, yeah, but I, I didn't guess, think yeah, so yes he was. I, I thought Keith came down with it. First free throws up, and it's good. Five to three here. Nash will get another one. So he'll step up there to shoot it. Second free throws in the air, and he got them both. Five to four Senators here. 4.44 to go here in this first quarter. Kent Chase to bring it back up for West Washington. He'll cross the timeline, now looks, and sets up the offense. He'll dribble out high, looks far side, tries to get it in the corner, tipped away there. 31 miss, he got a hand on it, so it'll go back to the Senators. West Washington inbound, far side of the court here, away from the bench. As Hofler will throw it in, he'll get it in to Kenton Chase. Kenton will set it now. 4.27 to go here in the first quarter. 5-4 to four West Washington. They'll get it out to Cameron, far side to Kenton. Kenton drives back to Mason Cox. He'll hand it off to Hofler. Lane around the screen there, lost it for a second. Now pulls it back out. Goes far side here to Kenton Chase. Kenton on the attack, nice move. Kicks it out to Cameron. He gets it off to Cox, far side to Hofler. Lane with it, backs up, now gets it out to Kenton. Kenton drives, now finds, ooh, stolen away by Nash. Turnover there by the Senators. Nash up quickly with it, gets it in the corner. They'll dish it back out. 31 on the drive, Missy, and uh, tipped out of bounds yeah, by Wilson. Yeah, he does a nice job of getting his hands in the way on that one, tipping it out of bounds. The Senators have looked good so far running their offense, you know, through, through a couple of times. Uh, just have to be able to knock down those shots. Yeah, just one turnover so far. So Missy will inbound, throws it up high, it'll come in. They'll kick it back over to Schuler. Schuler with it now, gets it out to Nash. Mason Cox all over him. And Nash will back it up. As he'll go on the dribble now. Goes around the screen, picked up there by Rosenbaum. Switched back to Cox. Now he'll pull it down, shoot it, got it. That's what he can do to yeah, you. Yeah, he just can break you down so quick. Mid-range jumper's pretty good for him. Six to five now, Senators back the other way. Borden in the lead here. They'll get it off to Kenton Chase. Kenton kicks it out to Cox, now to Cameron. Finds Rosenbaum far side. Rosenbaum looking, now gets it back out to Kenton. I'll tell you, they got Schuler just uh, chasing Lane all over the floor. Yeah. They'll get it back out to Chase. Kenton on the drive, spins, kicks to Cox. Mason will drive, spins, baseline, goes up strong, can't get it. Almost got his own rebound. Looked like it was fouled there by Agnew, no call. Nash back down, shoots it from the volleyball line. Oh. Actually, almost half court, saved in bounds by Agnew as he gets it back over to Schuler. Schuler far side to Nash, he'll go baseline with it, gets cut off, draws the crowd out to Agnew. He'll kick it back over. Schuler with the shot, no good. Battle for the board, tipped around and finally pulled down by Lane Hofer. Senators were out of Shoot, yeah. out of uh, the defensive uh, position, position yeah. there. You know, Mason was chasing all over, trying to get back to Nash, and just never got there. Yep, Kenton Chase with it far side. 2.19 to go here in the first quarter. Borden six, West Washington five. Rosenbaum with it. He'll drive baseline, gets cut off, spins, kicks it back out to Kenton Chase. Now Kenton on the attack. That's what Kenton's got to do. Oh, almost got the end yeah. one. He'll go to the line. 
I and mean, Ken, Ken can get to the lane just about any time he wants. He just needs to do it. So that's a first foul on Judd Missy. Yep, Missy's first, team's first here. And Ken will go to the free throw line to shoot a one and one free throw opportunity here. Great crowd here. Borden brought, I believe, their whole student section or their whole, the whole town. The whole town is sitting here in Campbellsburg. So yep, they they are followed well, no doubt. Kenton ties the score here, six to six. Kenton, a 77% free throw shooter on the year. Yeah, he uh, he shoots it real well from the line. I hope we didn't just jinx him, but he'll get another one here. Second free throw coming, he eyes it, flies it, and it's down. So Senators regain the lead here, seven to six. Borden to bring it up, they'll hand it in to Missy. He'll bring it up for the Braves, crosses over, looks, now goes in there to Agnew. Agnew, top of the uh, circle there. As he looks, trying to get it to Nash, now pulls it down back over here to Missy. He'll shoot it now, deep three, and he got it. He's capable too, and he, not, he makes him pay as he knocks it down, nine to seven. Missy had eight the first time these two teams played, so. They'll throw it down low. Titan Williams checks in along with a couple other Senators. Deep shot by Cameron, and he got another one to go. Jackson knocks it down, 10 to nine. Senators regain the lead. They'll get it up, Missy with it. He'll go baseline to Nash. We got McCoy on him now as he checked in for Mason Cox. They'll drive, dish back out. Now hand it far side to Missy. You see with it, gets it down low to Agnew in the paint. He'll drive, kicks it back out to Missy. Missy now on the attack, pulls up, dishes it out, gets it to Schuler, back to Missy. Missy far side, hands it off to Agnew. He'll spin, gets it out to Nash, McCoy on him. Nash will spin, free throw line, now kicks it back out to Agnew. He'll drive around, trying to get it off. Now finds the player, gets it off to Shuler here. A lot of the same defense going on both ways. Yeah. You know, we're covering Nash really well. Same thing they're doing to Lane Hofler. So McCoy now, who checked in for Mason Cox on Nash. Cameron now will pick up misses. He'll hold it out front, 30 seconds to go here in this first quarter. They'll go in the attack now as they hand it off to Shuler, far side. Shuler dribbles back out high, hands it back to Missy. 18 seconds now to go in this first quarter. Senators 10, Borden 9 here. Schuler going, or a Missy on the attack now. Gets it inside to Nash. You know he's probably going to take their last shot. Yeah. He'll drive, pulls up, tries to get it away. Stolen by Rosenbaum. Ian on the floor, picked up by Titan Williams. He'll shoot a half quarter. Ooh, and just does miss it. So that's the end of the first quarter here. Senators go uh, to the bench with a one-point lead. We'll take a break, hear a word from the sponsor or two, and be back here on your home for Senator Sports, WWSR West Washington live stream. I'm David Calhoun, Grass Clippings LLC. During the summer, I'm on this thing eight, 10 hours a day. I know the feel of it. Grasshopper means quality. They don't fall apart. I've looked at all of them in the industry. I don't think nothing can stand up to them. I like the power deck. You lift it up. Clean your deck out, then you wash it out. And you know, I can change those blades in approximately five minutes. In our terrain, we have to have a mower that can back up quick, turn quick. Nothing's ever stopped that mower. Right, brothers. We're more than tractors. Stop in and take a look around. You'll be surprised. Right here on Highway 60 in Borden. Back to live action here at West Washington where the Senators do lead. Yes. Weird looking at the scoreboard yeah, that way. It is. I was struggling with that earlier. <laughs> Ten to nine here. <laughs> Senators with the one point lead here as we start the second quarter. Morton will get the basketball to start as they'll inbound Schmidt. will get it into Missy and Missy will set things up here. He'll get it off to Agnew here on the near wing. Agnew dribbles in, free throw line, looks back door, can't find anybody, gets it off to Nash. Nash now on the attack, pulls up, baseline shot, can't get it to go. Battle for the board, finally tipped over to Kent Chase, and he'll pull it down and out of there for the center. Cameron now pulls up, deep three, can't get it, but a long rebound to Titan, and Williams kicks it back out. It'll go to Hofler, now off to Kent. Senators, you know, did a really good job of running through their offense that first quarter. We'll see if it continues here in the second. 
They'll go down low. It'll go inside to Titan Williams. He'll spin. He gets fouled on yeah. the floor. And I think that's a key for us. I think our other guys are getting open down low. We're going to have to try to find them. Well, that foul on Schmidt. And they don't have the size that we have down no. low. I mean, once you get Ian down there and Titan, you know, that's two big bodies down on the post. They don't have anybody who can defend that. Yeah, they check in uh, Fuller Tucker that we talked about coming into the game for Borden. Lob pass inside the lane. He'll pull it down. Man, he gets tackled <laughs> as uh, he goes down there at the free throw line. Just so kind of kind of wrong place, yeah. wrong time. They uh, <laughs> run into each other. Shuler, his first and team's third. Here. So the Senators will inbound again underneath their own bucket here. Kent Chase to throw it in. He'll look and throw it out to Grayson McCoy. And McCoy will hand it off to Cameron. And he'll hand it back to Kent. So Kent will set things up here for West Washington. As he'll dribble top the cir circle. Fuller, uh, Fuller Tucker into the game for Borden, as we mentioned. He's on Kent. Lane will pull it down, free throw line. Oh, almost got his first one to fall. Rebound pulled down there by the Braves' Keith. He gets it off to Nash. Nash off and running, hands to Fuller Tucker. He drives in the lane. Throws it up and a late whistle there coming. Yeah, that's the game that Fuller yeah. Tucker can play. He can get in the lane, you know, a lot like what um, Kenton Chase does. So That's on Titan Williams, his first team second. So Fuller Tucker will go to the line here, shooting a couple free throws. Like we said, Fuller Tucker didn't play in the first game. The six-foot junior definitely is a uh, spark plug for them. And this is the first free throw, but he'll get another one here, chance to tie it up at ten. West Washington 10, Borden 9 here as we just started the second quarter of play. Fuller Tucker back at the line. Second free throw coming now from him. Second one's up, and it's down. So he ties the game at 10. And the Senators with the ball. They'll bring it up. Kenton Chase brings it across the timeline. Dribbles into the center. Looks. Nobody there. Now kicks it off to Cameron. Back to Kenton. Far side to Hofler. Lane with it. Back out to Kenton Chase. Kenton off to Jackson Cameron. Cameron looking, now finds Titan Williams on the baseline. Titan with it, back out to Kenton Chase, far side to McCoy. He'll get it over to Hofler. Lane on the attack, now backs up, picks it out to Kenton. Back out to Lane. Hofler around the screen, pulls up, shoots it. Can't get it to go. Titan Williams with a big board, back up and in, and one. Nice job by Titan there to get the bucket up and in. Titan Williams scores. Keith uh, picking up his first foul. Titan comes to the line. Only a 52% free throw shooter on the year. You um, know, I think he, he, yeah, on the year he shot it there. He shot a little better here later in the year uh, from the line, but uh, like you said, only 54%. But he'll have a chance to complete the three point play here if he can make this one. And I jinxed it. <laughs> I bragged too soon, so he misses the free throw. 12 to 10 here. Senators as they lead the Braves by two. Braves back down, Schuler with it. Goes far side over there to Schmidt. Schmidt now back out to Fuller Tucker. He'll get it off here as it comes here to Schuler again here on the near wing. Gets it off to Nash. Nash will drive, pulls up, free throw line jumper. Can't get it to go, ball tipped out. And they're gonna call Titan Williams for a push. Yeah, Titan reached around there. That's his second personal. Yeah. Ian Rosenbaum yeah. checks, getting ready to check in for Titan. They were hoping to steal a few more minutes right. there with Titan than, yeah, than what Ian they did. a little more rest, but uh, 12 to 10 here. Braves to inbound underneath their own bucket here. Full of Tucker will kick it in. It'll come into Schuler. Schuler dribbles around, drives inside. Now pulls it back out, gets it off to Nash. Nash off to Fuller Tucker. He'll dribble back out high for the Braves. Now gets it off there. Once again to Schuler. Over to Agnew. Agnew looking. Throws the lob pass inside. Schuler, Fuller Tucker able to score. Well, that's one that we switched that, and yep. nobody goes with Fuller Tucker on that swish of Nash. High game at 12. Senators with it. Rosenbaum looking. Now gets it off to. Grayson McCoy, Cameron, now over to Hofer. Lane yet to score in this game. He'll get it off to Kenton Chase. Kenton off to Cameron. Cameron looking here. Now goes to Grayson McCoy. They leave him wide open. He'll kick it back out to Kenton Chase. Kenton's got to do that right there. He drives it and scores it. He's got to do that for us. I said it all year long. 
and they're giving it to him. Yeah. You know, I think that's something that's open, and he's just going to have to make them pay. So they give it to Schuler. He'll bring it up. 14 to 12. Here's Senators off to Fuller Tucker. He'll kick it into Agnew. Agnew with it. Free throw line gets it out to Nash. Will dribble far side. McCoy trying to chase him down. Now a shot up there by Schmidt. No good. And a rebound pulled down by Hofer. Lane back the other way. Hands it off to Kenton Chase. Kenton drives in. Free throw line. Lost the ball for a second. <laughs> Almost dribbled it off yeah. the front foot. Gets it off to Grayson McCoy on the far side. He'll lob it inside to Rosenbaum. Ian with it. Back out to Kent. Chase with it. Drives in. Free throw line. Throws up a runner. Can't get it to go in the rebound. Pulled down and out of there by Schmidt. As they get it up quickly over to Schuler on the far side. He'll find Schmidt. Turns. Spins it. Can't get it to go. Tipped up. He got it back, however. Three ball up from deep. No good. Rosenbaum goes in and steals the rebound. He gets it off to Hofler. And he'll get it back to Kent Chase. So good, good job there by the Senators tracking that ball down. 14 to 12 here. Senators with a two-point lead, 3.42 to go in the first half. Borden is only one of six. Yeah, they're struggling from three, especially. Kenton with it. He'll drive far side, looks inside, gets it in to Rosenbaum, back out to Kenton. Kenton will pull it back out now. I tell you, they got Schuler just chasing Lane Hofer around. They're not going to let him get up any shots. Oh, yeah. He's going to have to really work to get open here tonight. They'll kick it off now to Cameron. He'll get it over to McCoy. McCoy looking, kicks it out to Kenton. Kenton far side to Cameron. Now back out to Kenton. Kenton looking, goes on the attack, goes in the line, gets it out to McCoy. Back over to Hofer. Hofer far side to Cameron. Cameron, Nash on him. He'll kick it back out to Kenton Chase. 2.52 remaining here in the first half. 14 to 12, West Washington. Senators trying to get an overload on one side. Yeah, they are. He'll dribble far side. Ooh, he had Rosenbaum open for a three. Now drives back baseline, goes to McCoy. Out to Cameron. He'll shoot a deep three and got it. I tell you, Jackson's been all over it here tonight as he scores another yeah, three. Yeah, that gives him nine. Yep. So he buries it. Number 11 with the foul. Shuler. He, got, he, got, he must have pushed off on yeah. the rebound there. So that's going to give him his yeah. second personal. Some good minutes there by Grayson McCoy as he come in for Mason Cox. Cox has been chasing Nash all night. Senator 17, Borden Braves 12 here. A couple subs in for Borden. They're just already pushing on. Uh, the ball hadn't even been inbounded yet as they got to 31. Missy on Hofler now. Kenton Chase to inbound. He'll look, throws it in the lane. Hofler will pull it down, drives, spins, puts up a shot, got hammered and no call. And the rebound pulled down by Nash as he'll get it off. It'll come up to Missy now in the corner to Shuler. He'll kick it back out. Fuller Tucker goes down to Schmidt now back out. As it comes here, 231 Missy. Deep shot up by Fuller Tucker. Gives him six. So he hits the deep three ball, and it's 17 to 15. Neither team able to pull away here. Yeah. So It may be a game of possessions for sure. I mean, you're going to have to make every one of them count as both these two teams pretty good defensively. Yeah. Cox with it. Now far side to Kenton Chase. Kenton looking. Can't find anybody. Now he'll have to throw it back out to Lane Hofer. And I tell you, Lane's just getting beat up. Yeah. They've just beat on him all night long as they still are trying to get in his head a little bit. Kenton Chase on the drive now. That's what he's got to do. And there he goes Kenton again. Chase for his sixth point of the night. He can do that all night long. Cox uh, trying to steal it there. Tips it out of bounds off of Mason. So it'll go back to board. Agnew. Agnew coming back coming in. Coming back in. Yeah, he'll come in and replace uh, 35 Schmidt. As the Braves will inbound as they'll get it in. Keith will throw it into Missy, and Missy will bring it up for Borden. 120 left to go here in the first half. He'll get it off to Fuller Tucker. Now gets it back out there to Keith. Keith far side to Nash. Nash with it. Backs up. Now hands it off out to Missy. Now over here to uh, Keith, now off to Fuller Tucker. Back over to Missy. Missy over to Nash on the far wing. Now back out high. He'll pull up, free throw line shot up, no good. 
And Hofler with the board. I tell you, Lane's got a bunch of rebounds. Yeah. As he pulls it down, he ain't been able to score, but he's done a great job defensively. Senators have 10 rebounds so far in the first half. So, 19-15, under a minute to go. Kenton Chase gets it off to Rosenbaum, back to Kenton. I'm sure Coach Sullivan would like to hold for the last shot here as he like to go in the locker room with a, a big lead here. Four-point lead now. I like to crank this up to about six or seven. Hopefully with it. Looking, gets it back over to Kenton. Kind of a, kind of a chaser out front with Fuller Tucker. Yeah. They just got him running all over the place. Hopefully back over to Chase with 17 seconds. Now back to Hopefully. 14, 13, over to Kenton. Kenton looking. Now goes on the attack, gets double teamed there. Now breaks through it, almost lost it, tips it out to Hofler. He'll shoot a deep three, couldn't get it to go. And Borden steps on the out of bounds line. That's the end of the half here. So the Senators go in with a 19 to 15 lead here into the end of the first half here as we'll take a break here from all our sponsors. And we'll come back here on your home for Senator Sports and your home for sectional number 61. Is your ride not West as Washington. reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. We all make choices. When it comes to alcohol, Kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. You know, have fun. Hey, Em, have a seat for a second. Remind me about that party again. Alex is just and adults make right? choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. They want guidance and honest answers to their questions and it makes a difference when the message is consistent and part of everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path. Because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. Michael Long with American Family Insurance offers auto, home, business, farm, and life insurance, which includes motorcycles, boats, ATVs, UTVs, classic and antique autos, renters, manufactured homes, rentals, along with event coverage such as weddings, golf hole-in-ones, conferences, and much, much more. He's licensed in Indiana, Ohio, and Florida. For more information, look him up on Facebook to see insurance tips and to sign up for his agency giveaways. Michael Long, American Family Insurance, all your protection under one roof. I like the power deck. You lift it up, clean your deck out, then you wash it out. And you know, I can change those blades in approximately five minutes. In our terrain, we have to have a mower that can back up quick, turn quick. Nothing's ever stopped that mower. When it comes to vaping, the truth can get clouded. So let's make it clear. Vaping is not safe for kids, teens, or young adults. It's just not. Because vaping can put microscopic particles into your lungs. And dangerous things like metals and volatile organic compounds into your body. And nicotine, the same highly addictive substance found in regular cigarettes. Nicotine can harm a person's brain development through their mid-20s affecting learning, memory, attention, and impulse control, and priming the brain for other addictions. Vaping products also come in kid-friendly flavors that can make them appealing to youth. And many kids also use other drugs, like marijuana, in vaping devices. With appealing flavors, high nicotine levels, and lots of promotion on social media. Many kids think vaping is harmless, but it's not. So talk to your kids about the risks of vaping, because when you talk, they hear you.
At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. I'm David Calhoun, Grass Clippings LLC. During the summer, I'm on this thing 8, 10 hours a day. I know the feel of it. Grasshopper means quality. They don't fall apart. I've looked at all of them in the industry. I don't think nothing can stand up to them. Lynx Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Right brothers, we're more than tractors. Stop in and take a look around. You'll be surprised. Right here on Highway 60 in Borden. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. live action here at West Washington where the Senators do lead 19 to 15. Still getting me looking at that scoreboard with the vis with us being on the visitor side, Bubba. Yeah, it's been a little <laughs> tough to, uh, you know, figure out at times, but 
you know, the Senators done a great job. I tell you the biggest uh, biggest surprise for me here at the end of the first half is the fact that uh, Lane Hofler has not scored for the Senators and Kasem Nash, the uh, two leading scorers for each team. Nash just with four points on one field goal and two free throws. You know, the story has been the reserve players, really. Uh, Fuller Tucker, you know, leads the uh, Braves with six points. And uh, the starter for the center is Jackson Cameron, the junior with uh, three three-pointers for nine to lead all scores here in this first half. A low-scoring game, much like we thought we might see. 19 to 15 as both teams defensively have played really, really well. Borden come back out, got a few shots up the Senators, elect to just come out here and get ready to go here with the second half. And right, Senators have never been, they've never come out and shot at halftime. So this is not no, anything new for them. They just do not, and that's, you know, they, they figure, well, we're, if we're not warmed up by now, we're probably not gonna be. Yeah. But uh, they come back out here and take the bench, so we'll start the third quarter of play with the Senators up by four here, 19 to 15 over the Borden Braves. And, you know, it, if, if the first or the second half goes like the first half, you know, this, this game might not get out of the 30s. Right. Uh, you know, but uh, both teams have played really well defensively. Not a lot of turnovers. I just had Borden for one and the Senators for two in that first half. So uh, Senators will get the ball to start the uh, – the second half of play here as they will inbound uh, to get things going here uh, on the third quarter. So here we go. Centers will inbound. It'll come in from Mason Cox to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it out front as he'll set things up here. Borden kind of in a 2-3 zone man-to-man -man type trap <laughs> as they got Fuller Tucker. I don't know what you call that. But anyway, they're trying to deny the post as the Senators get it in there and Ian Rosenbaum Makes him pay right off the bat, his first bucket of the night as he scores on the jump shot. So uh, 21 to 15 here. Fuller Tucker back the other way for Borden as he starts the second half. And we're gonna have a foul on the floor as I believe Mason Cox is gonna be guilty. That's his uh, second foul of the night. As he kind of got hit in the mouth there a little bit. Him yeah. and Nash kind of battling uh, as Nash was trying to get open, so the Braves will inbound. Schuler to throw it in for Borden. He'll get it into Nash. He'll spin, kicks it out, as they'll get it back over to Fuller Tucker. Fuller Tucker will control it at the point. He'll go on the attack now. Picked up there by Cameron, now off to Nash. Far side, it'll go over there to Missy. Missy with it, gets it back out to uh, Schuler. He'll pull it down, now back to Missy. Missy looking. Finds Nash down low on the baseline. He'll spin, goes up strong. Oh, and a late whistle. I don't know how he oh saw my. that one from where he was. Dude, that, it was just so late. They call Ian Rosenbaum for the reach in. I thought it was going to be against Cox, and that would have been his third. That would have been a big one. But that was kind of a late whistle. No, he said it was on the floor. It was definitely on the floor yeah. because it was after Nash drove to the basket, and then that's when he blew the whistle. So it's got to be uh, out of bounds uh, to the, the Braves here. They'll look to get it in. They'll throw it out deep. Oh, and tipped by Cox. A nice play there. But the Borden got it back as they're able to pick it up. Now they'll drive, throw it up. Can't get it to go. Hoffler with the rebound as that ball hit the back that of was, the side of the backboard by That Schuller. was a mess. Yeah. Senators get it up quickly to Rosenbaum. He'll find Cameron. Now back out to Kenton. Now over to Hofler. Lane with it. Back out high to Kenton Chase. 21 to 15 Senators here with the six-point lead. And I'm telling you, West Washington might take the air out of it. Yeah. They're going to make them come out to get it here. Fuller Tucker will jump out on Kenton now. As Kenton now goes on the attack. He'll drive. Looks. Dishes out to Rosenbaum. Ian thought about the three. Now kicks it back over to Kenton Chase. He'll dribble back out high, Schuler on him. Now he'll drive, goes baseline. Rosenbaum draws the crowd, puts it on the floor, and it's stolen away by Agnew. So a turnover there by the Senators off to Fuller Tucker. He'll kick to Nash, Nash will drive, dishes it out. Now they kick it back the other way as they'll drive it in the lane and got the shot up and it was good there by Missy. Nice shot there by Missy, gives him five. 21-17, back to a four point lead. Kenton Chase will bring it across the timeline. 5.47 to go here in the third quarter. 21-17 West Washington. 
Cox with it, gets it out to Cameron, now back to Kenton Chase. Kenton on the attack, kicks it out to Cameron, now out to Hofer. Lane on the drive, got it off his foot. Luckily, Mason Cox able to pick it up. He couldn't off. have passed that one any better, <laughs> I don't think. Off to Cameron, now over to Kenton. He'll find Rosenbaum in the lane. Ian goes up strong off the glass and got it to go. So Ian scores his fourth bucket, two here in this third quarter. And his fourth point of the night, Fuller Tucker. Back the other way, hands it off to Schuler. Now over to Agnew, he'll shoot a rare three, but he buried it. Nice shot there by Agnew, his first pass Agnew of the night. Agnew able to knock one down from deep. And it's 23 to 20 here, a three point lead. Kenton Chase brings it across the timeline for West Washington, now goes on the attack. Gets cut off their baseline. He'll kick it back out to Cameron. Now over to Kent. Kent with it. Looking. He'll go around the screen. Drives, throws up a runner in the lane and got it to go. So Kent able to dribble one in there. Back the other way. Nash with it. Spins on Cox. He gets cut off. Now kicks it back out. It'll come to Missy. Now back over to Agnew. He'll go baseline on Hofler. Goes up strong and he got it. You can tell the pace is picking up here. Yeah, 25-22 as Agnew scores his fifth point of the game. Kenton Chase with it. Drives now, goes on the attack, kicks it out, and throws it away. He couldn't get it. He tried to hit Cox with it, and that's the second turnover here of the yeah. second half. Timeout called here by Coach Sullivan. He'll call it quick one. Yeah, quick 30-second timeout. You can just tell that he's wanting to slow this back down. Yeah, it it's it's getting too fast for us. 4-11 yeah. to go. Three-point lead here. But, you know, we've uh, we've done a pretty good job. They've ate into our lead by a point. We led 19-15, uh, to 15, and it's 25-22. Uh, to 22. Right. The Senators Agnes. had stretched it out to a six-point lead, yeah. you know, down to three now. But, had had it as much as a six. So. Well, those two turnovers have hurt us. You know, we only turned it over twice in the entire first half, and then turn around, we've turned it over twice here in this quarter. Right. So we're going to have to do, a, you know, a better job of carrying, you know, taking care of the basketball. But the Senators have hit all three of their shots yes. in the second half. So. Well, and I still like Kenton Chase off the dribble, and I think that's kind of what we've went to a little bit. He's been driving and creating, and uh, that last one he just threw it away. So the Braves will get it back here after the timeout. 4-11 to go in the third quarter. West Washington 25, Borden 22. Fuller Tucker to bring it up for the Braves. He'll drive it, kicks it far side. It'll go over there to Missy. Now back out high to Schuler. Now back out to Missy. Ooh, almost threw it away, but he's able to track it down. Missy on the drive now. He'll back it out. Looks, hands it off here near side to Schuler. Now off to Nash. National drive baseline, push Mason Cox out of bounds. Agnew with another three off the mark. Fuller Tucker, however, with the board, goes up strong and got it. As he scores again, 25-24. So a one-point lead here for the Senators. 3.31 to go in the third quarter. Kenton Chase with it. He'll dribble, gets trapped. Gets it back out to Cameron. Back over to Kenton now. Kenton with it, as he'll set things up here, gets it off to Mason Cox far side. Mason looking, trying to find the cutter, gets it out to Hofer. Lane off to Kenton, Chase with it, looking, drives inside now, gets cut off, he'll kick it out to Cameron, off to Rosenbaum. Ian looking, trying to find the cutter, throws the far side, ooh, scary pass to Kenton, and it's tipped out of bounds by Fuller Tucker. It'll go back to Nice the athletic Senators. move yes. there by Fuller Tucker and Kenton Chase to get out of the way. Yeah. Fuller Tucker almost saved it inbounds. Uh, Titan Williams will kick or come back into the game for Cox, who will take a seat here and get a breather. He's still messing with that lip. He got hit in the mouth there yeah. early on in this first uh, in this third quarter. So inbound, it'll come into Hofler. He'll pull it down and kicks it back off to Cameron. Cameron off to Kenton, now over to Lane. Lane back to Kenton. Back to Lane here. Good look, gets it down to Williams, now off to Kenton Chase. Kenton pulls it back out. Gets it off far side to Rosenbaum. Ian back out to Hofler, now to Kenton. Kenton on the attack, kicks to Ian, wide open three, buried it. Nice shot there by Ian, gives him seven. He's got seven in this quarter. 
Senators still haven't missed a shot here. D deep three up by Nash, no good, and Titan Williams chases down the board. He'll get it off to Hopeful. 28-24, back to a four-point lead here for the Senators. Kenton will bring it up here with 2.05 to go in this third quarter. Gets it off to Hofler. He's open in the corner. Three, and he got his first bucket of the night. Lane hits a deep one, yeah, and that's a you big can, one. You can tell the momentum has swung yes. back. The Senators up seven here, their biggest lead of the game. 31-24. We'll take a break. Full timeout here by Borden. 1.56 to go in the third quarter. It's West Washington, 31. The Borden Braves, 24. I'm David Calhoun. Grass Clippings LLC. During the summer, I'm on this thing eight, 10 hours a day. I know the feel of it. Grasshopper means quality. They don't fall apart. I've looked at all of them in the industry. I don't think that's gonna stand up to them. I like the power deck. You lift it up, clean your deck out, then you wash it out. And you know, I can change those blades in approximately five minutes. In our terrain, we have to have a mower that can back up quick, turn quick. Nothing's ever stopped that mower. All right, back here live at sectional 61 here, opening round uh, game here of this first round of the sectional. The West Washington Senators have pushed it up to a 31 to 24 lead as they lead here by seven over the Borden Braves. And, you know, Lane Hofler just scored his first points of the yeah, night. That, that's one of the, that's a big one. You know, yeah. Lane just scoring his first points. You know, we're, we're two minutes to go in the third quarter, and the Senators are up seven, seven. and Lane's first points first come there. Bucket so. on a three, and Kaysom Nash has only got four points. One field goal, two uh, free throws. We've done a great job on him defensively. Borden will inbound here after the timeout as they'll get it in. Missy will bring it up for them, gets it off to Fuller Tucker far side. Fuller Tucker with it, out to Agnew. He'll drive, gets cut off, now kicks it out to Schuler far side, Fuller Tucker. Fuller Tucker with it, gets it off. They'll get it in the corner now. Back over there to Schuler. Schuler out to Fuller Tucker. Kitten Chase has the, the job of guarding uh, Case of Nash, Nash at the now. moment. Yeah, he's all over him too. They'll swing it down low to Nash baseline. He looks, nothing there for him. Now he'll kick it out. Agnew, another deep three, and we'll let him shoot those. And a good rebound there by Schuler and Titan Williams fouls him. On the rebound, good job by Titan. Yeah, Titan just for the ball. couldn't really got it out of position. That's his third, third on the night. Yeah. So 31-24, Borden inbound, team's third here on West Washington. So not really in any uh, team foul trouble. As they'll kick it in, Nash will kick it in to Missy. Missy with it, looking, trying to get it off to Nash. Now he'll kick it off to Schuler, back out to Missy. Missy with 104 to go here in the third quarter. Time's on our side. Yeah. We're doing a good job making them waste a lot of time here. Well, and this is some Doc Nash basketball. If you can take the air out of it, that's something he's been known for. Schuler gets it off to Nash with under a minute to go here, 47 seconds. He'll kick it back out to Missy. Now over to Fuller Tucker. Back over to Missy. He'll shoot a deep three and a rebound by Williams. Titan went up high for that one. Yeah, nice job by Titan to come down with that rebound. He'll get it off to Kenton Chase and the Senators with maybe the last possession here this quarter. Be even better to stretch yeah. this one out even a little more. Kenton gets it off to Cameron far side. He'll head it back out to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it, 19 seconds, 17. He'll kick it off to Cameron, back out to Kenton. Kenton now, 10, down to eight. He's gonna have to hurry, five. He'll drive, goes up, pulls it up in the lane, can't get it to go. Oh, oh my goodness, they call a charging foul on Kenton. As uh, he picks up his first, team's fourth. Neither team in any trouble, but I'll yeah, tell you, Agnew was not in <laughs> position. No. And uh, they say he took the charge. They'll pull in Schmidt. He'll come in for Fuller Tucker. Full court pressure here with 1.8 to go in this third quarter. Braves trying to get a shot off. They'll get it in to Nash. He'll pull it down. Half quarter at the buzzer, no good. And we'll go into the third quarter. The Senators up 31 to 24. We're gonna take another break and we'll be back here with the fourth quarter on your home for West Washington sports, Senator Livestream, and 
number sectional number 61. We all make choices. When it comes to alcohol, kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. Yeah, have fun. Hey, Em, have a seat for a second. Remind me about that party again. Alex is just and adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. They want guidance and honest answers to their questions. And it makes a difference when the message is consistent and part of everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path. Because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. All right, back here live to start the fourth quarter. Borden with the basketball. They'll hand it in to Missy. He'll dribble here near side, kicks it in the paint, and tries to go back door, and they turn it over. So the Braves turn it over here to start the fourth quarter as they tried to go back door to Nash. They're trying to set something up for him to get him open, and now they'll come with some pressure here. Senators have struggled with this a little bit. They'll get it across, though, get it to Cameron, now to Rosenbaum, now to Hofler. Hofler will look, gets it out to Kenton. Chase with it, goes off to McCoy, back out to Kenton. Now off the lane, Hofler with it here, trap. Now goes down to McCoy. He looks, gets it out to Kenton Chase. Kenton gets trapped, gets it off to McCoy. Gets it out to Hofler, now to Cameron. Now inside to Rosenbaum, he goes up strong, can't get it. No foul called, and the rebound pulled down by Schuler. Schuler pulls it down, gets it off to Missy. Now they'll kick it down low, it'll go to 32 Keith. Keith with it, gets it off to Nash. Nash pulls it back out here. Seven point lead for the Senators, 31-24. Nash now pull it down, shoot a deep three and he buried it. Just when they need a big shot, he gets one. Gives him seven so far. 31-27. Hofler with it, gets it off to Rosenbaum. Now back over to Hofler. Hofler back to Rosenbaum. He'll get it across to McCoy, now to Kent. We got, we're going to have to burn them on this uh, yeah. pressure. There, you know, we got to get it up quicker. Goes to Cameron in the corner, back to Hofer. He'll throw it to McCoy, baseline, back out to Kenton. Kenton on the drive. Now backs it back out, and a timeout called by Coach Sullivan here with 6.24 to go here. It's going to be a full, full timeout, yep. so let's step aside. We'll take a break be back in just a moment. When it comes to vaping, the truth can get clouded. So let's make it clear. Vaping is not safe for youth. Because vaping can put microscopic particles into your lungs. And dangerous things like metals into your body. And nicotine, which can harm a person's brain development through their mid-20s. With appealing flavors, high nicotine levels, and lots of promotion on social media. Many kids think vaping is harmless, but it's not. So talk to your kids about the risks of vaping. Because when you talk, they hear you. Quarter, Senators 31, the Borden Braves 27 here. Four point lead for West Washington as they take a timeout here with 6.24 to go. Borden's come with a little pressure here, full court on the Senators in this fourth quarter, trying to speed them up a little bit. And it's worked so far as they've cut into this seven point lead. Got a three pointer to go down there by Nash, and uh, the Senators will inbound. Oh, Hofler throws it into the backcourt and throws it out of bounds. So a turnover there, the third of this second half. And it'll go back to West Washington, or back to Borden after the uh, inbounds is thrown out of bounds. That's We can't do that. That's yeah, no, sure. that doesn't work. No time comes off the clock and you uh, turn it back over to them. So they'll inbound, they'll get it into Missy. He'll bring it across, hand it off to Keith there. Or Schmidt with it, I'm sorry. Schmidt will back it out. Now hands it off to Nash. Cox on him. 
Nash goes on the drive, kicks it in the corner, three ball up, in and out, no good, tip back up, tipped up again and out of bounds. It'll go back to West Washington as the Braves kicked it out of bounds there. Fuller Tucker back in for them as he'll come in for Keith. As Keith will go to the bench. Senators clean to this four point lead yeah. here. Six minutes to go. Still uh, pressure here as they put Fuller Tucker back there. Kind of a half court trap here set up. Hopefully with it. Gets it over to Rosenbaum. Just barely almost stolen again. They'll get it to Kenton Chase. Kenton back to Hofler. He looks at a three. Now out to Kenton. Kenton on the drive, that a boy Kenton, and he can't get it to go, ball tipped, and the rebound pulled down, and a jump, oh, they're gonna call Rosenbaum for a foul. Should be a jump ball. It's gonna be his second foul. Well, here's the thing, there's five fouls on the Senators. They have not called one single foul on board in this half. And I'm not saying they fouled, it's just there's that <laughs> big of a discrepancy. You can't play a whole half of no. basketball and not foul, that, that doesn't happen. And that was Rosenbaum's second, team's fifth. So Missy back up for the Braves. He'll dribble far side. Looking here, he'll wheel around. Now gets it off to Schuler. Schuler out to Nash. Cox on him. Nash will back it up, shoot it deep, and the rebound pulled down by Rosenbaum. He'll get it off to Kenton Chase. Kenton gets it off to Rosenbaum. He'll look at a three. Now steps back, shoots it, can't get it to go. Can't take those quick shots. And the rebound pulled down there by Schuler. He'll get it to Fuller Tucker. He traveled with it, no call. Agnew now in the corner with a three, no good. Cameron and Nash come down with it. Jump ball called, and it'll go back to the Senators. Well, I, I don't, I don't, I don't what, know about that I don't one. know what they're <laughs> booing about because it was a jump ball. I mean, both guys had the ball. But they missed the travel on Fuller Tucker. Hofler with it. Off to Rosenbaum. Pressure here. They'll get it back to Hofler. He'll get it across the timeline. Goes far side to Cameron. Now back out to Kenton. Off to Hofler. Lane with it. Far side to Cameron. Inside to Rosenbaum. Oh, almost tipped it in there. And a steal and a turnover by the uh, Senators. Nash will drive it. Throws up a wild one. And Hofler tips it off to Kenton Chase. Kenton with the board up quickly. Gets it across. And he'll get it back to Hofler. Hofler with it. Back out to Kenton. Kenton with it. There's what you got to do. Drives past everybody, finds Cox, and Mason scores it. So Cox goes in strong, 33-27. Boarding up quickly with it. Missy. He'll pull it down, gets it off to Nash. He'll drive, pulls up, jumper, 12-footer off the front of the rim, rebound Rosenbaum. He'll get it off to Kenton. Kenton with it now. 3.56 to go here in the contest. Senators 33, Borden 27. Kenton will drive, gets it to Cameron, deep three. Ooh, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by Nash. He gets it up quickly. He traveled, and Shula pulls it down and scores it. Gives him four so yep. far. 33-29, back to a four-point game. Senators will call a timeout here with 3.40 to go. 32nd it's going to be a timeout. 30 second timeout. Stay here. We'll stay here with you. But, you know, I, I can't believe they've traveled two times down the floor in the last two possessions. Not trying to be, uh, you know, naturally I'm a senator guy, but, yeah. you know, it, it is what it is. You can watch it on film. And uh, they missed another one there as uh, Shula was driving in for the back, uh, for the basket and uh, took an extra step there, but no call by the officials. So 33 29 here with uh, 3.40 to go in the contest. Senators with the basketball, but Borden hanging around, and we knew it was going to be this yeah, way. Yeah, this is, this is the game that we thought it was going to be, and it definitely is. So. These are the type of sectional games that you love, and uh, that's another good one here. So, Senator basketball, I'm sure we're going to see full court pressure out of Borden. So, Ian Rosenbaum to inbound for West Washington. Still nobody in this game in double digits. No. Nope. Boy, Cameron had a good look at a three down there on this end and just couldn't knock it down. Hofler with it. Gets it off to Rosenbaum. He'll drive. Now kicks it off to Hofler. Now across to Cameron. Cameron trapped with it. Tipped by Nash and still 
He'll go in strong, shoots it, and got it. 31-33, a two-point game. Rosenbaum on the drive, gets it off to Kenton. Chase with it, backs it out, and a foul finally. Finally foul. got a foul. First one of the uh, half here. Judd Missy's going to be his second. So 33-31. As Schmidt will come back in for Agnew here. 3-11 to go. Senators inbound here at half court. They'll get it into Cameron, in the corner to Hofler, back to Rosenbaum. In, back to Hofler, now out to Kenton. Chase with it, far side to Cameron, over to Hofler. Back over to Kenton, tipped out of bounds there by Borden. It'll go back to West Washington. Well, you know, in these situations, uh, Craig, I like to see us be more aggressive. Yeah. You know, we're trying to play keep away, and, uh, you know, I'd, I'd rather see you drive to the basket, try to make something happen here. Senators inbound and stolen. Tipped off the referee, saved it from going out of bounds. They'll kick it out. Missy will shoot a three off the mark. Battle for the board, pulled down by Nash. No call as he knocks the player to the floor, and Hofler with the rebound. He'll get it off to Kenton. Chase with it, 240. Takes it across the timeline. Gets it out to Hofer. And another timeout. Coach Sullivan going to burn this one. It's a full. So we're going to step aside, have a commercial break, be back in just a moment. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Five, four, three, two. All right, back here live at West Washington High School here on the Ron Smith Court from the T Tower Gymnasium. Senators clinging to a two point lead here, 33 31. 234 to go in the contest. And the Senators with the basketball after a timeout here. Borden's giving them all kinds of pressure here. They've turned the Senators over six times here in this uh, second half. So they'll get it inbounds. Will the Senators can't chase with it. Trap coming on him. He gets it to Cameron. Now to Rosenbaum in the lane. He'll shoot it. Shot it a little long, and Nash with the rebound as he'll get it off. Missy will bring it up quickly. He'll drive, pulls up, shoots it in the lane, can't get it. Rosenbaum tracks down the rebound. He'll get it off to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it, far side, 2.12 to go. As he'll get it across in a foul. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Going to get Missy for the foul there. There That'll was no doubt third. on that one. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we've only got, you know, they've only got two team fouls. So, uh, you know, they got some fouls to give here, and if we can take the air out of it, yeah. you know, they got to foul us three or four times, but that means they're going to go after everything. So they're going to be chasing all over the place. They ain't got nothing to lose. Chase with it. He'll get it across, gets it off to Cameron, back out to Kenton, off to Hofler. Lane with it, drives, far side to Cameron. He gets fouled as Nash comes across and just about took him out. Nash will pick up his first, his first <laughs> team's third. 155 to go. Agnew will check back in. So he'll come in for Schmidt. I'd send somebody to the basket. They'll get it inbounds. It'll go to Kenton Chase. Kenton, Fuller Tucker on him. He'll get it across. Drives, goes behind his back there. Oh, and he throws it away. Another turnover. Agnew comes out of the pack with it. He'll drive, heads it off to Fuller Tucker. 
Out to Shula for the three, and he buried it. And Morton just takes their first lead here. 34-33 on the three-pointer. And, you know, I think a lot of that's just because we've been too complacent. Yeah, we've been slow we've got getting to, to the drive ball. drive the basket. You know, you, you can't. They've got fouls to give, so you know they're going to be all over you defensively. Yeah, and so, and we're relying on Kenton to break the yes. press. And once they do, once Kenton does, then we don't go anywhere with it. We've right. got to we've got to continue to go, continue to go to the bucket yep. and find you know Ian Rosenbaum who's who's standing there wide open, or find you know Lane who's driving to the bucket. We've got to find somebody on that cut because then they're going to play the chase game. Well, Ian had a good look down here that last possession or the possession before and just missed an easy runner in the lane. And that last time then Kenton got a little too aggressive, tried to pass it inside and threw it away. So up to seven turnovers here in the second half and it's just killed the Senators. Yeah. 34-33, Borden with a one point lead with 1.32 to go and full court pressure, no doubt, shown here again by the Braves. Rosenbaum to inbound. He'll try to get it in. Finally does. Gets it in to Kenton Chase. Kenton will drive. Dishes. Cox will score it. Senators take the lead back. 35-34. Missy up quickly. 121 to go. It's going to come down to the last yeah. possession, I'm telling you. He'll hand it off to Nash. Nash with it. Fakes the handoff there to Fuller Tucker. Backs down Mason Cox. Now throws in the corner. They'll drive it. And they missed the shot. Rosenbaum with the rebound. Oh, my goodness. That's got to be a foul. <laughs> As Rosenbaum had the ball, and they just ripped it away from him. 35-34. Borden will get it back here. 102 left to 102, go. 102. They're going to take a timeout of full. We're going to step aside, take another commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment with more action. High school football fans, welcome back to Friday night. To pure spirit. To pure sport. Welcome back to high school football. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is Friday night. This is Indiana high school football. This is your IHSAA. Back to live action here at West Washington in T. Kermit Power Gymnasium where the Senators do lead 35-34 over the Borden Braves in sectional 61 action here. Bubba, it's, it's come down to the last minute of play. You know, just like the last time these two teams met, it went to overtime. Yeah, and, I, you know, Borden with fouls to give. They've only got three team fouls. You know, and we've talked about it here this entire quarter, they're going to be very, very, very aggressive because – they, they know they've got those fouls to give, the Senators uh, with the five team fouls, so they've got one to give before Borden shoots. And this is where we need to get real aggressive on the defensive end, as a one point lead by West Washington, missing the inbound, as they'll try to get it in. Will the uh, Braves, they throw it up high, lob pass, and they tip it in, as they get it in there to Schmidt, and he scores it. 36-35. Kenton will bring it across the timeline. Timeout here by the Senators with 51 seconds to go. And, you know, we're going to stay here with yeah, we're you, gonna I guess. Stay. We're not going to jump out on this one. You know, it's a full timeout. I'm sure Coach Sullivan is going to try to draw up something here, uh, you know, to uh, maybe get the last shot. I don't know that we can hold it, though. Yeah, I don't know that we can hold it. Because they're going to be aggressive, seconds. like I said. It's going to come down to Borden. Knows that they've got fouls to give. Um, you know, with only three team fouls. So they, they can foul four times before we're shooting free throws. So I would say, knowing Coach Nash the way I know him, he's going to tell his kids, you know, you, you got you got three to give. Right. You know, you don't want to foul and put them at the line with the game on the line, but you've got three fouls to give, so you got to be really aggressive. And if you're the Senators, I don't think that uh, Coach Sullivan can uh, – Overemphasize the fact that we got to take care of the basketball. Right, and we can't we have, we can't not have those it. those unforced errors, those turnovers that you know don't that aren't 
aren't forced. I mean, right. if, if you know, you're getting pressure, that's one thing, but just to throw it away is a completely different thing. So. And we have had a lot of trouble getting the ball inbounds uh, on these inbound plays. So we've thrown it away a couple times doing that. Rosenbaum will inbound it for the Senators here with 51 seconds to go. get it in, it'll come in to Kenton Chase. Kenton will bring it up across the timeline, Missy on him for the Braves. Will drive, goes in strong and got a layup out of it. That's what we've been looking for, 37-36. Senators regain the lead with 34 seconds. Nash on the attack, he'll drive, dishes. Now kicks it back to Nash. He'll take it in the lane. Goes around, throws up a runner, and got it to go. 38-37 with 20 seconds to go here. And the Braves with a timeout here, 20.8 seconds to be exact. Looks like they're going to take another full timeout. Yeah, going to be a full timeout. We're still going to stick it, stick here with you. Oh, yeah, too yep. exciting to leave now at this point. <laughs> Standing room only around oh. the top of the uh, gymnasium here. There are people everywhere. Yeah, it, it is. They filed in here in a great game they've seen here as this one's going to come down to possibly the last possession. Braves retake the lead there on that Casey Nash uh, layup. You know, he's he's got uh, seven points here in this quarter. Uh, yeah, 11 total 11 for the for game. The game. He, he only had uh, one field goal in the first quarter before uh, this fourth quarter. Here's, so. the, here's the difference in the game. The, um, Braves have shot 10 of 23 yep. in the second half, where the Senators are 8 of 14. So they've, yeah, they've pretty much doubled up. us up. Well, and a lot of that's been because they've turned us over. Yeah. You know, we got seven turnovers. We got to go here. And, uh, you know, I like Kenton Chase. I've said that all along. I think he's your best option. He's your best ball handler. You know, you, you get him the ball and, and let him try to create something. You know they're going to try to turn us over here. And uh, with 20 seconds to go, so we can't afford. We got to take care of the basketball. They'll get it into Kenton. They foul, no call. Rosenbaum with it. He'll shoot a three. Oh, missed it. Rebound, though. No, back up, and he gets knocked to the deck. As he, they call it on the floor. Yeah, I don't know how that's on the How's floor. How's it on the floor? They throw him down. Nash's second foul. And we'll have to inbound with 11.6. We'll get it into Hofler. He'll pull it down. He'll shoot it. Can't get it to go. Rebound Nash, and we foul him right away. He's had a good look there. Seven point four. The Senators have uh, one foul to give here. So, sorry, no, they don't. No, it's no they six. don't. Yep. So, so they call that on Kenton, his second, and the Braves have to inbound the basketball here. Fuller Tucker to throw it in. Now they're switching. As they'll go, Missy will throw it in for the Braves. They're going to go long. They're going to go long. Uh, I can see it. See, there they go. They take off. Now they'll get it in and tipped out by Rosenbaum. So now they'll back it off. He traveled. He traveled three times with the ball. I can't believe they didn't see that. Uh, anyway, it's another foul on the Senators. That'll put them at the line with 5.5 seconds. Kent Chase's third foul. And that will put Schuler at the line, a one-point lead here, 38-37. Schuler has not been at the line tonight. And still have a one plus one free throw opportunity here. Senators still with time, five and a yeah, half seconds. Yeah, five and a half seconds, enough time to get down the floor. So, Shula's first free throws up, and he hits it. 
39-37. And a timeout called here by Coach Sullivan. We're still going to stay here. Yeah, so five and a half seconds to go. 30-second timeout. Senators trail by two, 39-37. 5.5 to go here in the opening game of sectional 61. I mean, you couldn't ask for more excitement. No, you couldn't. I mean, it's been an exciting one. I tell you, you know, if, if the Senators lose a game, it, you know, I think it's just because we were way too timid with the basketball and didn't uh, didn't try to drive, turned it over. And, um, you know, that that's really the difference here in the second half. We had a seven-point lead at the end of that uh, third quarter, 31 to 24. Um, and, uh, you know, they've outscored us here 13-2-6. Um, so they lead by two, 39-37. Five and a half seconds left. And Schuler at the line. Alex Schuler up there, the uh, six-foot-one-inch junior with another free throw to come here. So he'll step up there. One shot coming. He'll eye it. Let's it go. And it rolls around and in. 40-37. Senators got to hope for a prayer here. If they can get it up and get a good three-point shot. Yeah, it's got to be a three, so. Yeah, got to get a three in. Get it into Kenton, they'll foul him. You knew that was coming because yeah. they, they got fouls to give here. Schmidt with uh, his second personal foul. 4.6 seconds now as Rosenbaum will inbound again, this time from the far side. He'll throw it in. It'll come into Cox, and they foul him trying to get to the basketball. So Schmidt was uh, his third personal. Now it'll be out of bounds at the half court line. 4 seconds to go. So we're closer yeah. looking for a 3 we're here. We're getting it down the field, down the uh, court here, but we got to get a good look here with 4 seconds. Ball to be inbounded looking. Get it in and it's stolen. Yep. yep. Schuler gets a back tip Agnew. And that's a ball game, so Borden's going to escape 40 to 37 as they come back here in the fourth quarter and get the victory here over the Senators. We're going to take a break, add things up, and we'll come back with our post game report here on your home. 